Let's go down to Debbie Taylor with a very special guest, uh, Steven Strasberg's agent, Scott Boris. Oh, that's right, Johnny, and I'll have to say, Scott Boris is one of the busiest people, so we appreciate him taking time out to join us, and I think you're maybe a little bit nervous, right? You're like a dad to Stephen. Uh, just tell us a little bit about Stephen and just how special he is. Well, besides his unique abilities, he's, he's, he's a very intense uh, athlete and a very intelligent athlete, and uh, I don't think you get to where Stephen's at at such a young age without having all those qualities and uh, certainly having a collegiate environment where he had a Hall of Famer work with him and, and a great pitching coach. Uh, all those aided to a, a foundation that allowed him to advance so quickly to the major leagues. What are your emotions right now, getting ready to watch him in front of a full house and all the media that's here and so much excitement surrounding this debut? Well, you're, you, you understand one thing for every player that arrives, because all of us ball players, your goal in life was you wanted to play in the major leagues. And that, that emotional part of it is something that when they get there uh, and they arrive, it's, it's a dream come true. And you just hope it's not uh, as emotional as, uh, as what being a major leaguer means to them. Well, Debbie, Debbie's microphone has gone out as you see Stephen loosening up out there and getting set to, uh, to make his first start tonight. Thanks to Scott Morris. Unfortunately, some technical difficulties there. But when you look at Strasburg's rise in less than one year, it was June 9th of 09, drafted first overall by the Nationals, signed a four-year deal in, in August just before the deadline, beat it by about two minutes just before the midnight bell struck, Ray. Yeah, they, they were in the pits boy I mean down in the ditches trying to get that thing done and some of us thought that it might not happen I remember Stan Kasten coming out here and says guys don't make a prediction because you don't want to embarrass yourself that made me feel like it was going to get done but um, you know a lot of money a lot of commitment but this this pays off this this crowd and if you're talking about an average of 22,000 people in the night 20,000 people are going to be here you're talking about millions of dollars that are being uh, generated because of Steven Strasburg. I think Debbie's got her microphone problems fixed. The gremlins are out of there, and Debbie's back with Scott Morris. Okay, thank you very much, Johnny and Scott. I wanted to ask you about Bryce Harper, who you also represent, and he really took an unconventional path to baseball, uh, becoming a draftee. And just tell us a little bit about how that idea got started. Well, and uh, his father and mother, uh, Ron and Sherry, were called me and and they wanted some legal advice on the fact that their son was getting walked in high school 80 percent of the time and so we gave them some ideas about how to handle that and and the harper family made the decision to um, have him get his ged uh, go to junior college as a junior in high school play at that level uh, which with his size and his abilities allowed him to obviously set uh, historical records uh, hitting almost, I think, three times as many home runs as anybody in junior college history with a wooden bat. So I, I think that they uh, made the right decision and put Bryce in a, in a best place. And now, of course, you will be negotiating with Mike Rizzo. And the reason Steven Strasburg is here today is because you and Mike were able to come through. And a lot of people don't like to deal with you, but Mike and you really have a relationship that goes way back. And what makes your relationship so strong? Well, you know, I, I deal with every major league team uh, all the time. and so. Uh, we both try to be prepared. You, you, uh, you know, when I did Stevens' contract with Mike, it's it's a situation where it's a difficult contract because it's unprecedented because we're dealing with factors that are not customary in the industry. There's no comparability, uh, and when you're dealing with those types of things, uh, you want to certainly arrive as a sense of fairness for everyone, and you want, but you're also reaching into a uh, an arena where for draft picks, you can usually say, well, they should just wait and earn their earn their way through the major leagues. Well, there's a select few draft picks that actually create uh, resources and revenues, attendance, all before they ever play in the big leagues, like Steven Strasburg. So it's a very different process. It obviously is uh, unique to a very few athletes, but I'm glad that for everybody it worked out. Okay, Scott Boris, thank you so much for joining us. Johnny, Ray, back to you.